When Hull City faced the threat of liquidation in 2010, there was genuine fear that over 100 years of history would be wiped from the footballing archives. But in the club's greatest hour of need, one man emerged from the shadows to save the Tigers from extinction. By day, Asem Alam runs a highly successful business on the outskirts of the city, and since taking over, he's ploughed more than £50 million of his own fortune into restoring the club. But why would this Egyptian-born tycoon want to invest his hard-earned cash into a football club on the brink of collapse? Towards the beginning of the 2010, start to read about the club in difficulty, and there's a question about going under receivership administration or not. Now, look, North understands that representatives of Hull City have been meeting the Premier League today to try and resolve their ongoing financial difficulties. And uh, followed the news and immediately I realised that how uh, dangerous it is for the community to lose the football club, which is started in 1904 and is a major thing in the, the com for the community. I know how difficult it would, it would be uh, if the club is allowed to go uh, under administration. It will take years to recover. Assam Alam joins a growing number of overseas businessmen to buy into English football. But despite the private registration plate and the vast sums of wealth, this football club owner holds the city of Hull closer to his heart than you may first think. Alam was forced to flee his native Egypt in the 1960s to escape the country's violent dictatorship and he's been here ever since. But why did he end up in Hull of all places? It's not because I caught the wrong train, no. <laughs> I had my sister living in Hull, her husband was a doctor at uh, Castle Hill Hospital here. So I came here to stay with her, so that's why Hull was there. Uh, and uh, I uh, went to Hull University, got uh, at least to do postgraduate again, uh, another master's, and I stayed since. Alam is honest enough to admit that he had little knowledge of the football industry when he became chairman, but now that he's settled in, he's grasping the challenge with both hands. It's very interesting. It's a new thing for me. The money it, it cost me here, I could have bought uh, a good Premier League club for that. If, uh, uh, but I wanted to avoid further decline. So we put enough money to make sure, at least, we, if you're not promoted, we are staying in the championship in a good, in the top half. And uh, that's, I think, I'm pleased to say you achieved that. Uh, nothing pleases me more than when I come here in a match day and look at how many, 20,000 people happy, having a nice time out. But also I'd like to do something for the, my local community, Holland East Yorkshire. And uh, the best thing in my mind always was, uh, as an ex-sportsman myself, ex-course player, it's the uh, sports, I believe sports is the most powerful tool to correct communities. Away from the northeast, the country of his birth is never far from his thoughts. And when 74 football supporters were tragically killed in riots at an Egyptian football match in February, Alam felt it only right to offer his support. I wrote to the chairman of the Ahli club, offering uh, they come here. I pay all the expense of the team, travelling and accommodation, and to play a friendly match with all the income to the benefit of the families of the dead people lost their lives. Back on the pitch, Alam is all too aware of the need to be in England's top flight for his football dream to be realised. English football is the most watched uh, football in the world. Since we've been promoted to Premier League, uh, people ask where are you based, I say, Hull. oh, Hull City. If at the start of next season you find yourself in the Championship, does that change anything? Uh, no, we'll try again. Yeah. <laughs> and they may just have to try again next year as Hull endure a slump in form that's seen them drift out of the Championship's playoff positions. Saturday's 2 0 loss to Coventry, their fourth consecutive league defeat. This is our first trip to the yeah. KC Stadium this season, yes. and you lost 2 0. You won't be inviting us back. No, you're welcome anytime. <laughs> <laughs> as I said, that's football. It's, uh, uh, that is football. It happens. Hmm.